I wrote a piece recently uh, in the Journal of uh, Strategic Studies that talks about um, the effect of uh, pilotless or humanless vehicles, right? That um, you're emphasizing a technological change that we have participated in over a long period of time, which is your graph shows improvement in precision. Uh, a different dynamic, and potentially these two things are gonna work in different ways, is taking humans out of the direct line of fire in, in combat. Uh, right. And in your presentation, it, I don't think this was your intention, but it's conceivable that somebody could confuse these two elements. I wonder if you could, uh, from your perspective, talk a little bit about which of these you see is the more critical problem for some aspect of the, uh, you know, uh, security always has these three elements. It's sort of, um, whether there's a contest, how the contest evolves, whether it's a big contest, uh, a, a quick one, um, and also who wins. Uh, because you could have a big contest that's favorable to one side or a big contest that's indecisive or, or whatever. So when you say contest, is it a war or is it just a competition prior it could to? Be, it could be a, some kind of military violence. I'm gonna let you define. I like war, I mean, it's just a common I, word. I'm, and I'm completely okay with that, but I wanna <laughs> not box you into that point. Okay. Where it could be, for example, that you think precision's really important because um, you know, uh, one of the things we did in, with the shock and awe campaign uh, was we destroyed a lot of Saddam Hussein's military capability uh, with very little impact on civilians. Um, and maybe that was a wonderful thing, but there's also sort of, you can also tell stories about how it failed to achieve certain military objectives uh, or political objectives as well. Well, you raise a, a, a useful and important historical point. Um, there are people that argue, and, and it certainly has to be dialed in, that one of the advantages of being so barbaric, uh, because we had to be, in bombing the cities, because that's all we could use the damn bombers f to hit, for the most part, was that no one in the Second World War in Germany could come to the conclusion that they were stabbed in the back by the political leadership. No, they, they lost the war, and they could see they lost the war, because everything around them uh, had fallen uh, as a direct result of them having lost. So, there's something to that. I, I don't know if I want to emphasize that because the cost morally uh, to doing that today is a lot higher than in the 40s. In the 40s, there was no moral cost for doing aerial bombing uh, as great as it is today because the technological options were so few. Whereas now we're ethically more on the hook because while well, we have more choices, uh, because of precision. But I, I do think uh, the bigger point I thought you were raising is something which I did not examine in this little brief, but which is very important. Having uh, the, the legs to deliver munitions, or in the case of that hellfire, just kinetically around, depends uh, not only on having missiles and unmanned systems, it depends on uh, having a brain and eyes and ears. And uh, you cannot afford to be lobotomized in space or, or any other way. So being able to have surveillance, communication, command functions, um, being able to get target acquisition and bomb damage assessment, all of that, which is based on things that don't shoot, becomes terribly important. And if those things are vulnerable, they don't work, and that becomes probably as a thousand is to one with regard to the shooter versus you know, these systems. So those things become much, much more important. And um, I think uh, you, you could do a lot worse than um, build an enormous mobilization base to build a lot of missiles and a lot of warheads and not do it, but really make sure that your eyes, ears, and nervous system in space and on the ground are invulnerable. Because you know you can you can choose to ramp up or not and you can you can deliver the goods. 
But it doesn't matter how many things you have that can go distance or, or go boom if, you know, you get lobotomized. And uh, so I don't know if that touches on an answer or is it all relevant to your observation. 